Bonnie, happy Wednesday! It's all about candles today. I'm talking about all candles. <laughs> I got so much to tell you guys. So, I got my cereal candles from Goose Creek I'm going to show you. I've got a village candle haul. I have my window open. It's actually starting to rain. It's so nice today. It feels like fall. Um, and then we have three new candles that just landed online at Bath & Body Works. I also wanted to tell you guys. Um, so, yesterday I did review the Sugared Cherry Crisp, the new candle from Bath & Body Works. And a couple people have asked me, um, is it the same as the Cherry Hand Pie? And um, I don't know. Because the reason I don't know is when I ordered those test candles last fall, I ordered like 12 of them, the entire shipment got damaged and I never got it. So the only one I ever got was the chocolate brownie batter one. So I never got to experience those. Um, so I'm assuming it probably was Cherry Hand Pie. And there's another one from a while ago called Sweet Cherry Pie that a lot of people have been saying um, is similar to this one. So this one, like I said, is definitely like a cherry pie. So I'm, I'm, I burned this again last night. I'm loving this one. These are awesome. So today they just added... And I know so many people are going to be excited about this. They added caramel pumpkin swirl. They added white pumpkin, which I know was a favorite last year. And they added pumpkin cupcake. This is last year's pumpkin cupcake. Oh my gosh. Love this scent. This is like one of my favorite scents. I have one left over from last year. I think I burned maybe one or two of these last year. This was a really nice scent. This is whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, fresh baked cupcake. Oh my gosh, pumpkin cupcake just is one of my all-time favorites. So that just got added online today. We really need a candle sale because that now there are actually 15 of these new candles. I'm like, seriously, Bath & Body Works? <laughs> We're all going to be broke. <laughs> So anyway, that is the Bath & Body Works news. Um, they also have, I just wanted to mention, the um, hand sanitizers. They just um, added blueberry crumble, so that was kind of exciting. Okay, Goose Creek. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> it's like candle, candle Central here. Goose Creek, last week, added these really cool cereal candles and they're part of Halloween. They're called the cereal, seriously, cereal flea. <laughs> That's what it says on the website. Uh, Wicked cereal collection. There are eight of them and I got three. I got peanut butter crisps. <gasps> you know me. I love my peanut butter. I love my chocolate. Peanut butter, hot cocoa, Chocolate pieces, vanilla, sugared cereal, and powdered sugar. This one smells so good. It smells... I smell the peanut butter. Oh my gosh. Remember PB&J from Bath & Body Works last year? And we didn't get, like, a peanut butter smell? <laughs> we got a weird smell. This is... It smells like peanut butter. Okay, so I'm all over that one. I also got the pink berry crisps, which is... I'm thinking, is this Frankenberry? <laughs> Um, this one is Strawberry Pound Cake Pieces. That's why I got this one, you guys. Red berries, milk, vanilla, sugared cereal notes, and powdered sugar. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. It's not Strawberry Pound Cake to me. It smells like Strawberry Cereal. It smells so good. I will be reviewing these. I want to see how strong these are. <gasps> so that was really good. I also got, um, the Cocoa Puffs, which is basically straight on chocolate. So super happy I got these. They also have Jungle Pebbles, Lucky Marshmallows, Fruity Hoops, which is Fruit Loops, um, Silly Tricks. They have got um, Cocoa Crisps, which is like the cookie cereal. Cookie Crisp. So anyway, um, super excited. Those are so unusual. So I was super excited to get those. And then... On Goose Creek. I need to get some of their new fall candles. They have got um, the ones that I want to get. They have one called Cold Autumn Leaves, which looks really interesting. I will put a screenshot up of that. They also have Pinwheel Cookie. Oh my gosh, seriously, Pinwheel Cookie? I've got to get this one. Um, I remember those growing up. Raspberry Jam, Cream Cheese, Warm Sugar, 
wild berry, cookie crust, and buttery vanilla. That is on my list. And then we have um, the salted pretzel. I kind of want the salted pretzel. They have got sugared cinnamon donut, um, salted caramel popcorn, pumpkin angel food cake. Really? Okay, it's great. And then they did launch um, some new Halloween candles. We have... So the Goose Creek Halloween, I don't have one in my hand. I will put a screenshot up. Um, I just reviewed the Poison Cupcake. I'm going to be reviewing a couple of those from last year that I have. They also have a new set of the Soy Candles. Um, they're really cute. They've got, a, they've got Spooky Buddies. Isn't that cute? Um, they've got Spiderweb Pancakes. Happy Halloween. I'll put some screenshots up too. Um, Moonlit Pumpkin Ghost Treats, Halloween Party, and Poison Punch. So I'm like, oh, Goose Creek, you guys just have way too many new candles. Um, I need a sale at Goose Creek, seriously. Because <laughs> I'm loving my Goose Creeks this year. So then, Village Candle. Oh my gosh. So Village Candle right now is... Part of Stonewall Kitchen, they gave me a little postcard. Where did I put my postcard? Um, oh, here's my little... They, they gave me a little card when I ordered my candles. My candles are really well packed, by the way. I've never ordered Village Candle online before. All I've done was... Um, or, you know, I usually get them at um, Home Goods or TJ Maxx, because that's typically where... Um, they have a large selection of Village Candle. So, I did want this year, I saw this one on Instagram, it's called Wizard's Owl, you know me, I'm a huge Harry Potter fanatic, and I'm like, I really want this candle. So this one is, what are the notes on this? It's funny, because why am I in a European site? This is really weird. Um, I was trying to just look up the scent notes really quick on, let me see if I can go to Stonewall Kitchen and look this up. Um, Wizard Owl. Wizard, here it is. Um, so the large jar is $19.95. It is rain, amalfi, lemon, and bergamot. It says, flying through the night sky, delivering charmed letters. The moonlight sparkles off the wings of the magical owl. The fresh, dewy air glides under his wings and dances through the rich bergamot. As bright lemon shines like the stars scattered across the sky. <laughs> the stoic owl soars silently, un only announcing himself with an enchanting hoot. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm like, I should write these things. <laughs> so anyway, this one is a really kind of unique scent. I'm not sure I love this scent. It's super sparkly. It's very... It's like sage and lemon. Um, it's definitely a strong scent, like a eucalyptus. I don't know. I had to get it for the jar, though. So I will burn this one and uh, find out whether or not I like it. Um, I also got from Village Candle, oh my gosh, these super cute little tiny candles. Oh my gosh, are these not adorable? Um, I didn't want to spend, you know... 1995 on each of these um, candles because I'm like you know that's a lot so what I decided to do is I bought um, some of these little ones and the little ones are actually how much are the the tiny ones I think these were 6.95 they're called the small you know it's weird that's not them where are the Halloween ones um, they're called like the small apothecary which I thought was kind of unique. Um, Oh, here's the wizard one. Yeah, the small one. Oh, they're called the petite. The petite one. Okay, it's not the small one. They're petite. But check out the lid. I love the lid on these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they're so cute. I'm going to add them to my display. So I got um, Forbidden Forest, which smells totally like grassy. I actually like this scent. Look how green the wax is. This one smells amazing. I got Forbidden Forest. I got Haunted Mansion. Oh my gosh, isn't that just like super spooky for Halloween? Black Wax. This one smells a little bit 
like sage again. So it seems like every haunted house candle has got sage in it. <laughs> it's like it's like standard haunted house sage. I got magic spell. I thought that was really pretty. This one is fruity. Um, and then I got the unicorn dreams. I just had a unicorn dreams. I thought that was really cute, kind of wizardy. This one's definitely fruity too. I do have a mini. Um, I did get the mini wizard owl, wizard owl too. I just thought that was super cute. I just like this, um, just for decorating. So. I thought those were really cute. I thought that was a really good deal. And they came in, look at the box they came in for Stonewall Kitchen. They were wrapped really nicely. I, I'm thinking these things were never going to break. Um, they're just, I'm so impressed with, you know, the packaging and everything. So um, I will put the link below if anyone is interested um, in this candle, the Wizard's Owl candle. It's kind of hard to find on the internet because you have to search Stonewall Kitchen, then you have to go to Village Candle. Um, I don't know if, no, it's not sold out. I heard that that one was actually sold out because it was, like, super popular, um, the Wizard's Owl. So, um, how cool is that? So, anyway, that is my candle haul for today. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm, I'm planning on buying. I'm like, I need some more Halloween candles. I'm obsessed with Halloween candles this year. <laughs> I actually did order, um, a lot of people are asking about my bookcases. I got this one at Target. These are a little pricier. Um, I think that was like $139. And then this is just a Walmart bookcase that I got for like $26. The only thing is this isn't quite as sturdy. Um, but I did get a large one of these for my living room. Um, you know, the wider one. So I'm going to put a lot of my Halloween display out there and I'll, I'll, I'll get a picture of it. I have to, I have to organize everything. I'm pretty impressed I got this organized, so I'm doing good. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be back later with some sort of review. I haven't decided what I'm re reviewing yet. I'm like, I gotta organize my stuff here. So anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.